What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriela and this is Makeup Adventures with Gabby. Today we're going to do a really quick and easy I'm late for work look. Technically I'm not late for work today, but we're going to make it look like I am. So yeah, there's not a lot that I can say about this video. We're going to get right into it. So without further ado, let's go into the makeup video. Boom. Alright, so first thing that I do is I do my eyebrows and I'm going to show you guys how to do my eyebrows the quick way. So basically I'm going to take my Precisely My Brow by Benefit Cosmetics in the shade 6, which is the darkest shade. I start with my right eyebrow. I don't know why I'm always on that. And I just lift up my hairs. Here, let me zoom you guys in. So yeah, so I lift up my hairs. Start from this side over here, so where my arc begins and I just excuse me I'm so sorry I just ate so I'm like burping. anyway so I start from my arc I start making the line and I start sort of shaping it the way that I wanted to because I don't have a lot of time I don't actually shape them completely but I just like fill them in and I always want them to look square -ish. and then I just fill it in and I do like um, up strokes very quickly Blend it in. I want them to look a little bit more natural today. So. And then I just brush it off to blend everything in. And as you can see over here, I still have like white, like a lot of empty spaces. So I'm just gonna go back. The good thing about this pencil is that you can really build it up or you can just leave it very lightly and every time that you brush it off it kind of just blends everything together. so my eyebrows don't look the same and that's okay because we can't have everything in life I really need to go get them done so a lot of it helps it really helps when your eyebrows are done I haven't had time so we're gonna change it up a little bit I usually do my eyes first but today I'm gonna do my face first I'm gonna take my hourglass veil primer gotta shake it up first. I'm gonna take about this much and I'm not actually going to be using any foundation today. I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. And I'm basically going to cover the sections that I want. My skin is not like the greatest and it's not like the clearest. But I do have... So I just go obviously my dark circles. I block... I block. I like hide any like little pimples or whatever imperfections that I have. I wish my skin was flawless, but it's not. So lately I've been using a lot of foundation, so I feel like my skin kind of has been acting up because of it. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. It's really dirty. It's really gross. And blend everything else. So during the summer this is what i like to do i like to just wear concealer not wear foundation because i hate the feeling of like my foundation on my face melting so i just decided to go for a concealer and this is super quick and easy so you basically blend it out until it doesn't look like uneven with your skin and this is one of the reasons why I love having like my concealer the same shade as my skin or as my foundation because it matches and I don't need to worry about parts of my face looking wider or lighter than my actual shade I'm just gonna add a little bit more under my eyes and I forgot to wet my beauty blender so life is great So to set that, I'm going to take my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm going to take a small brush and I'm just going to set that for... This is also the look that I do whenever I just don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup, but I also want to like cover my, my dark circle. So, so there's times where I don't even cover the rest of my face, I just cover my dark circles. I have those days. Actually, most days I wish that I could do that, but I work at a beauty salon, so I actually have to wear makeup all the time, did you know? And this is super quick and easy to do. It normally takes me about five to ten minutes to do all of this. 
with like the concealer shaping even with shaping my eyebrows like that's like record time sometimes my physician's formula butter bronzer that's what I'm taking and now my camera is not gonna focus yay it's focused I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm still gonna bronze up my face just enough you know like not a lot And then with that same bronzer, I'm gonna take a, a fluffy brush for my eyes. And this is just gonna go on my crease. And it's just gonna give a little bit of definition to my eye. I'm actually gonna take another bronzer. You can take whatever bronzer you want. I want them to be a little bit more defined. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. This one's a little bit darker than the other one. So it will definitely give it a little bit more definition. Okay. And it doesn't have to be significant. Like it doesn't have to show completely. It's just a little touch. I'm going to take my blush. And I'm just gonna be using the NARS blush in the shade D2. I feel like I'm late for work, but I know that I'm not. I'm going to take my Becca highlighter in the shade Prosecco Pop, and I'm just gonna highlight the face, because you always gotta highlight the face. I'm gonna take that same highlight, and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with it, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with it. Now, I'm gonna take my waterline eyeliner and my liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna take my waterline and I'm just gonna do my, my waterline with it. Whenever I want to just wear mascara, I still put some of my waterline, some eyeliner in my waterline just because it adds a little bit more definition and a little bit more darkness into the eye. When you're wearing mascara, you don't see your skin through the mascara. My boyfriend's like outside and he's laughing and I'm trying to film a video here. So now I'm gonna do my wing eyeliner. As you can see, I always start my eyeliner in the middle. No matter what I wanna do, always in the middle. I don't know why, that's just how I do it. It ended up longer than I wanted it to, but it looks good. So we're gonna leave it that way. I'm just gonna thicken it out a little bit more from my outer corner to about halfway. I'm just gonna do this, try and do the same on the other side. Hopefully, it looks like twins. Identical twins. The same guy. Not really. I'm gonna stop playing with it or else it's just gonna end up being even worse. For mascara. I'm gonna oh, just drop everything today. I'm gonna be using my favorite, my one and only Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And because my eyeliner is not exactly the same, I really want my eyelashes to like take over the whole look. do any color that you want for this look so you can go for like a deep red or you can just do like a just do like a nude shade I think I'm gonna go for like a darker shade I don't know this weather has me has me feeling a little bit more in the dark side so I'm gonna take the NYX cosmetics powder puff in the shade cool intentions When you don't press record. Dramatic, I know. Anyways, so this is the final look, guys. It's very simple, very easy. Not what I normally do on an everyday basis, but this is my look for when I'm feeling lazy. One, two, when I just don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. And three, when I'm late for work. So I hope that you guys can use this for your work. It literally takes me about five to 10 minutes to do this look. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like me, if you don't like me, well, 
I can't change your mind, so. And I'll see you guys in my next video. That's, that's all I gotta say.